Hi friends, it's Miss McCormick here. I thought today, since it is Friday, that this would be a fun activity and I can do step-by-step -step drawing with you. Today, we are gonna draw thing one. This is an example that I made up. This is the final product. This is just sketching it out and drawing it out with pencil, which I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do that. So all you need is a piece of paper, any type of paper you have at home, and a pencil, and if you would like to color it in after we're done, you can use colored pencils, crayons, or markers. So the first thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna take your paper, and at about the middle of your paper, you're gonna draw two circles that are about the same size. These are gonna be your eyes. Then you're gonna draw in the details, the pupils of the eyes. Then just under your where your two eyes are, kind of in the middle, you're gonna draw a little U-shaped. That's gonna be his nose. Then because thing one's really happy, he's excited, he's bouncy, we're gonna draw a big smiley face. And you're gonna draw the little lines so that it looks like he's smiling. Next, we're gonna draw, the, give him the shape of the face. You're gonna start just about even with the edge of the smiley face and just draw a half, almost like a half circle around that. Next, you're gonna draw the bottom part where his cheeks are. You're gonna bring this out just a little bit. And if you make a mistake, don't worry. You can always erase when you're working with pencil. Next, you're gonna give them just little half moon shapes here. That's gonna be for his eyebrows. Next, we're gonna do the hair. The hair, we're gonna start right about where the face comes out and do lots of hair. This thing one has tons of crazy wild hair and bring that around. So we have his face, we have his hair now we need to do his body. What you're gonna do for the body is, about the middle, you're gonna draw two line, little lines. That's gonna represent his neck. Then you're gonna draw almost like a squished U to connect those lines. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna draw Lines down, you're gonna bring it out a little bit because of the idea of the thing one, he is almost like wearing a onesie. So you're gonna draw those, you want them just about even. Then to draw his feet and his legs, you're gonna draw a long upside down U on your paper. That's gonna help get the shape of the legs going. So you're gonna extend these lines down and then you're gonna go, I'm just gonna take it from the U and go out and around to make his foot. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And if you don't like what you did because you're using pencil, you can just erase it and make the change. Now, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna do the arms. For the arms, all I'm gonna do is like a big kind of stretched out V shape for the first arm. Then I'm gonna bring it up and loop it around. That's gonna be your thumb. Now, you wanna remember, you want to make a bigger spot, bigger bump, for the rest of his hand. For the other arm, I'm gonna put it down, like facing down. 
You can draw it the same way if you want to draw the other arm the same way. But you're just going to go down. And I'm going to do the bump for the thumb and then the rest of his hand. So I have that. Now I'm going to go back and erase these lines to connect the arms so that it looks like it's to the rest of the body. Then you're going to draw a big circle. You want to try and touch it side to side. And then you're going to draw, you're going to write thing, T-H-I-N-G, real big, and then underneath that, put the one as in number one. So you have thing one. Now you can go ahead and color it however you choose to. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys have fun.